case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1955, the Supreme Court of the United States heard Bell v. United States, a case concerning the interpretation of the Mann Act and the allowable units of prosecution for violations of the law. The act prohibited the knowing transport of women or girls across state or international lines for immoral purposes, but the court had to determine whether transporting multiple women in one journey constituted a single or multiple offenses. The petitioner in the case pleaded guilty to two counts of violating the Mann Act relating to the transportation of two different women. Initially, the district court sentenced the petitioner to consecutive terms for each count, which was upheld by the Court of Appeals. However, the petitioner claimed that he committed only a single offense. The case then reached the Supreme Court due to conflicting interpretations among different Court of Appeals. In a majority opinion delivered by Justice Frankfurter, the court ruled that the simultaneous transportation of multiple women in violation of the Mann Act constituted a single offense. The court applied the rule of lenity, emphasizing that ambiguity in the law should be resolved in favor of the defendant, resulting in lesser punishment. As a result, the Supreme Court reversed the Court of Appeals' decision and vacated one of the petitioner's convictions, underscoring the importance of congressional clarity in defining units of prosecution and punishment for federal offenses. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.